what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today in this video we're going to talk about nine stocks in this video so please hit that thumbs up button that is greatly appreciated and that really helps out with YouTube algorithm and if you want to support the channel and get my daily trade ideas my swing trade ideas three days of live trading in my discord definitely check out the patreon I'll leave a link down below in the description and if you are new to the channel consider subscribing on Apple stock is down 0.17% and despite the sell off in the morning Apple was able to hold 185 as a support blue line 5 SMA went back up to the upside and now we got a fresh new all time high 187.56 now Apple stock still in a strong bullish trend and if you look at my screen I mean there are so many examples right here on Apple stock I mean look at these pullbacks right here one right here I mean so many right here guys just a shallow pullback and then this thing rips back up to the upside and hits a new all-time high so Apple stock now 185 will be a key level and below that we also have support aligned with this 13 SMA 183 and then white line 20 SMA 181 34 180 and then the gap at 176 Apple stock can hold 185 it's going to push higher and the next stop on Apple stock possibly another new all-time high and that would be 189.18 to even 190 and then I got a price target to the upside here on Apple stock above 185 we could possibly see Apple going up to even 195 on Amazon stock is down 0.63 percent and I talked about it in my last video on Thursday that going into Friday Amazon gets down to 128 right here where we got rejected multiple times that would be a dip buy and if you did that on Friday you made money on Amazon this thing went back up all the way up to almost 131 and now trading at 129.33 at the closing holding above 128 so next week on Monday Amazon stock on a pullback watch out for the support 128 127 Blue line 5 SMA, 126, 124, white line 20 SMA. To the upside, above 128, we could see that move on Amazon all the way up to 134 to close that gap on top. On Google, stock is down 0.69% and Google again holding 123 as a support into closing. So that's going to be key level on Google stock to watch. But to the upside, Google can actually break above right here, 124. We got all these moving averages right here on Google stock stacked up in between 124 and 123. So that's going to be key level. Once we get above 124 on Google stock, it's heading higher all the way up to 127 and possibly up to even 130. Below 123, watch out for the support down here, lower Bollinger Band 121.31 and then watch out for 116.69 red line 50 SMA and then the gap at 113.51 on Google on meta it's up 1.35 percent and if you go back and watch all the videos I made in last two to three months and even the ones I made last week I've been calling it out that do not short the stock meta going all the way up to 290 and Friday we got that on meta 289.67 and then we saw a little bit of pullback on Meta but still it's up on the day 1.35 percent and that is why you gotta look at the trend you cannot just go blindly and short everything in the market because somebody is making a video saying that crash is here and market is going to crash and SPY going to what 250 that's not happening anytime soon and possibly never it's not going to happen so on Meta guys now the question is meta can still run above 290 and definitely that is possible because if we look at it meta came all the way up here almost touching 290 and we got a gap on meta on top and if you look at it that was a massive gap here and now it's almost getting closed and this gap we only got a little bit more left on meta above 290 meta can hold that as a support right here 290 we could see another leg up all the way up to 316 87 
to close that massive gap completely on Meta and that could be the next move on the stock. Now, of course, this thing is overextended. We could see a pullback from 290 and if that happens, watch out for the support now. 284, blue line 5 SMA, 275 to 276 align with this 13 SMA on this daily chart and then of course we got a white line 20 SMA at 270. Now only time Meta gives up 272 white line 20 SMA definitely is rolling over and possibly coming all the way down to 253 and then 248. Right now I mean if you look at this upper Bollinger Band expanding guys also lower Bollinger Band expanding to the upside that means what even on a big pullback Meta will not go below 248 anytime soon so even if there is a decent pullback the lowest the stock can go would be right here 253 to 248 just like google stock we saw it it's holding lower bollinger band as a support so even on a bigger pullback meta can only come down here to 253.33 to even 248 and that is it in the short term above 290 like i said meta can go all the way up to 316.87 and this is why I trade all the time mega names like Microsoft Apple you know all my trades most of my trades are you know around these stocks right here you know six to ten stocks and this is why you know these stocks you can make money you know you go and buy something like a penny stock no guarantee you're going to make money or not but you know look at how the support level holding guys right here it held white line 20 sma again it's not breaking look at this 333.58 low for the day 333.45 holding white line 20 sma went back up to where almost 338 so if you bought that dip again on microsoft friday you made money and this thing is still up from your entry 333 closing at 335 so on microsoft looks like it wants to roll over but above this white line 20 SMA, it's still bullish and Microsoft can break 338 right here. It's heading back up to the upside and then watch out for 345.60, possibly up to even 355, a fresh new all time high. Now to the downside, Microsoft gives up 333 right here, white line 20 SMA, then it's going to roll over, come all the way down to lower Bollinger Band 321.57 and then the gap at 316.50. So on Friday, I didn't trade anything guys, but this is why these videos are coming for you, especially to educate and give you all the levels so you can trade on your own. Now I got people asking me like, can I buy Tesla here on top? Well, no, you have to wait for the right opportunity. And when the opportunity comes, you're not buying, so you're not going to make money on Tesla. And if you're buying at the wrong time, you're going to lose money. I mean, look at this, guys. This cannot get any better on Tesla on Friday. Dip on Tesla, low, 252.80. We got 30 SMA right here, orange line sitting at 251. On Thursday, we got a bounce off of this level. I traded, I made money on Tesla. Now on Friday, same thing happened, right? Uh, didn't really get all the way down to, you know, 251, but a stock will never hit exactly to the pennies. You know, like your, your levels will not hit exactly to the pennies. You gotta get in somewhere, right? You know, if it's 251, 252 is fine. So if you call this dip at 253, even 254, look at the upside on Tesla and downside. For your stop loss, your downside would be right here, 251, right? Or even 250. And that is what? Two, three dollars. Look at the upside. Tesla went back up to where? 262, exactly to the resistance. And then got rejected, came down, and now trading at 256, 257 at the closing. So that's how you gotta buy tesla you cannot just get in here on tesla right here or you know anywhere just because you want to buy tesla and you think you're going to make money you gotta wait for the right opportunity on tesla and if you get that and you got a stop loss you're going to make money so on tesla going into next week as a support definitely a strong support and this 13 sma will move up so i would say 252 
Tesla can hold that as a support and breaks 262. There is still more room to the upside on Tesla. Like I said, 300 is possible. So 262 breaks. We got a nice pullback and now this thing can move higher all the way up to 288 and then 300 below 251 to 252. Then watch out for the support down here. 235, 234, this gap will get closed and that is a line with this white line. 20 SMA on this daily chart and that should be a strong support on Tesla. On AMD stock is down again 0.62% and AMD holding above lower Bollinger Band holding that is a support into closing. Now this stock here we got a significant pullback from 132.83 down to 107.46. Now the question is, can AMD hold right here? And if that holds, that's gonna be a short-term bottom on AMD. The gap is fully closed and it's holding above that gap. So 109 to 108 will be a strong support on AMD. And AMD can hold that support. We could see a move back up to 114.37, 118. And once we break above 118 on AMD, it's back in business. We're going to see more upside on AMD stock. Below 109, 108, watch out for the support. 10471, red line 50 SMA, and then 100. So on Nvidia stock, also this stock giving day traders a lot of opportunities pretty much every day. And if you're buying at the support and you got a stop loss, you're making money on Nvidia. I mean, look at this, guys. It cannot get any better. 420 exactly down to the pennies, holding that as a support. And then what happened? Went back up to 428. So you made money if you're buying at the support. Now 420 gives up. Then watch out for the support down here. 411, white line 20 SMA, 40374, and then 400 down here, the gap 395.30. To the upside, 420 can hold on Nvidia. We could see another leg up all the way up to 430 and above that 445 possible on nvidia but if we look at it this could be a rounding top on nvidia and looks like it's getting ready to roll over and if that happens critical level to watch on nvidia right down here 40374 and below that it could be coming down here to fill this gap at 395.30 now on nvidia i already got a short position on nvidia and there is a long term short position i got I'm not talking about, you know, puts that are expiring next week or the week after. Uh, you know, I got a couple more months. So on NVIDIA, guys, if you want to short and you think this is the top, at least buy yourself some time. Don't go, you know, buy weekly puts or next week or next month because NVIDIA goes back up to the upside another 20, 30 bucks. You're going to be down a ton on your position. So NVIDIA. I'm actually willing to add more puts on my position. If this thing again gets up to 440 or even in that case, uh, you know, possibly a new all time high 445, I'll be adding more puts. Right now, looks like Nvidia wants to roll over. And if this thing actually breaks under white line 20 SMA 40374, that's going to happen. And we could see Nvidia coming all the way down to not only this gap 395, possibly down to even 375 and that's going to make me a lot of money on my short position on nvidia and that is why i'm holding a long-term short position on nvidia on netflix it's up 0.36 percent and it's holding 424 13 sma as a support into closing so that's gonna be a key level to watch 424 on netflix and below that, we also have supported 412, white line 20 SMA, then the gap down here at 409. To the upside, Netflix can hold 424 and break 427.52. It's heading higher, back up to 450. And that's all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you so much for watching.